Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? I thought I'll give you an update on my snail garden journal. Um, I kind of got, I was just going to do four signatures, but apparently I'm doing five because I end up going <laughs> overboard. And um, I didn't think of this till now, but like, you know, I use these to, you know, keep the pages together and I took my Sharpie and like numbered them so I knew which order they were in. Um, something so easy and I didn't think of doing that till now, but, um, I got like all the pages in there. Um, this part, you know, I'm going to fold in. I haven't folded that in yet, but, um, yeah, I got like all the pages in there. Pages died and stuff. Um, I still, you know, going to do like stencils and stuff on here. Um, I can... I thought I had like a spring stamp set and I thought there was a snail on it and found out there wasn't. I don't have any stamps with snails on it. I'm so bummed out. Um, I thought about um, taking pictures because I have pet snails in my fish tank, my fish aquarium. And um, I was thinking about taking pictures of my snails and printing them and adding them in with my junk journals but found out that um, I had this problem around Father's Day because I always print my photos at Walgreens. Um, I can do them at Walmart, but they always turn out like grainy at Walmart. They're not as clear. So, and I get, get pretty good deals when you get them like, you know, when they have like coupons and stuff at Walgreens. But, um, I went to get pictures printed, just two pictures for Father's Day, one for my husband and then one for my dad for Father's Day. And, um, yeah, I had to, they were like all out of four by six, um, photo paper to print the photos on. So I had to get them five by seven, which one of them was right. The one for my dad had to be five by seven to fit in the frame. But the one I had for my husband had to be four by six. So I had to like cut it down to make it fit because of the COVID, they haven't been able to get any, any more paper. You know, they haven't been getting any more. So they haven't been able to print all their the photos that you know people have been ordering so I don't know because I've been in a city so it's like crazy and a lot of people print a lot of photos and um yeah I don't know if you're having the same problem and they're still you know not they're still out of paper they're still not able to print like they need to so I think I'm just going to be like doodling like hand drawing some snails and stuff on it because I can't find hardly any snails but, um, for the cover, and I still can't find my tracing paper. Am I losing it? I, w I looked everywhere. I live in a tiny apartment. There's only so many places it could be, and it should be with the rest of my types of paper, and it's not there. I'm like, how is that possible? I got, like, three things of tracing paper, and I can't find it. It's like it just disappeared, I swear. But I did find my index cards that I was, or um, my paint samples that I was looking for. So I will use some of those in here. I know I had like pinks and yellows. I had got some greens in here. Some greens and browns and yellows I might use in here. But yeah, I finally found them. So I got all my paint samples in here and my index cards. I'll be using some of those. Um, I This was the part from the cover, which was like, I don't know, just about here, I think. Somewhere around in here. And then this part was actually right here on the right side. But... Um, I could not find my tracing paper, so I got, um, from the kitchen, I just used wax paper that I had, because you can see through it, but then the pen, because being wax, um, pen doesn't work on it, so I had to use my fine tip Sharpie, which doesn't give the best, you know, fine line, but it worked, and I was able to, um, because I used it on here to stencil out the outlining of this, because I didn't want to go over the snail here, so this is going to go right about here. And then um, I still got this head to cover right here. So I was going to put like flowers and stuff behind there. So then this was over here. Yeah, it was on this side. And I'm going to hop and jump this over here instead. Like so. And then have more flowers behind there. So that's how I am on the front cover so far. And then there was like this teeny tiny little dragonfly too, which I know I cut out. Oh, here it is. That was right here, so I thought maybe I'll add that back in. It's like a little teeny weeny dragonfly. Don't want to lose that. 
And I still want to use the wordings on here too somehow. I'll use that like on a page or something. So I don't want to lose those. And then the back of it, I was trying to find something big enough to cover this. But I still want this around it. And I was going to use the very last page because there's no wording on it. And at first I was just going to use like the head and, you know, just cut around, you know, the body and then just place it in there and just have white on around it. But since then it was still showing this guy here. And so, um, I'm, and if I did it up there, it would the little boys hanging on to one of the snails. So I had to move it further down over here. So I think that's where I'm going to do it. See, this is my stencil. <laughs> You can see all the black lines from the Sharpie. You can kind of see where the people were. So I think I'm going to have to completely cut, fussy cut around so all the stuff will still show. But that's where I am so far. So I'm going to have to fussy cut that out. But yeah, I had to move it down so you can still see this boy hanging on to the snail. Because if not, you know, I was going to have it up here and still cut that out somehow. But yeah, I'm going to have to have that down here and have that in the back. But that's where I'm at right now. So I guess I'll start fussy cutting this out. And hopefully it works. Need some light. It's dark today. Is it supposed to rain today? The sun was out and now it's like kind of cloudy and dark. It's still early. It's 10.30 or 10.45. That light just makes it look darker it seems like. But let's begin. You know, another way I could have done this, I didn't think of this till now, because I've done this um, for my son a couple times with dinosaurs. You know, I could have scanned this and print this on paper and then, um, you know, have this against the window so I can kind of see where it's lining up and then tape them together and then just cut, you know, the picture that I print off of this. That probably would have been easier. Because I have done that where I was cutting out... Um, silhouettes of uh, dinosaurs and I would put it on um, colored paper I would like tape it on there just like you know how I have these two taped and then just fussy cut it out and it turned out perfect and like we were hanging them up because he was having a dino themed um, birthday and so I had like all these dinosaurs that I cut out for him with all fun colors and hanged them all over the ceiling he loved them All right, let's hope that this worked. This is my one and only chance. It's just not too bad. I want this lined up just right. And that way it covers all that. I still don't know about having this dark green here. I almost think of cutting that dark green off and then adding something else over there so I still cover up, you know, the picture in the back. I don't know if I like that dark green. Hmm. It's not bad. I think this looks a lot better than this you know looking over it through the screen it does look better that way I guess doesn't look too bad 
have to find my matte um, Mod Podge or whatever. Like seal it and then this on top and do another coat. I think that's what I'm going to do next. Although I do need to cut. I still haven't cut this apart. I should cut that apart first. And then glue the front and the back on. this part because it does have two little snails on there I don't want to lose that like normally I cut these parts off but I kind of want to keep that on because um, depending which fabric I use I'm still debating but like I don't want to cover up all the snails because there's snail here and snail here but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cover them up no matter what I need some, you know, I have to do it like to this line, I think, to about here. I'm afraid those ones are going to be covered up. This is where the Triforce is. Oh. Well, that's cool. I like making Triforces. And then same as the back, you know, because if so, I'd be like covering this up, so... Have to be really careful and super duper glue and whatnot to make sure it sticks well. And my Mod Podge. And of course, once I got a new thing, a Mod Podge, the mat, I end up finding my old one. But it's kind of, because it's been so long, it's kind of drying up. Kind of. Like it is, but it isn't. I did get the dry stuff out. Let's see if it'll still work. I haven't opened the new one yet.
All right, these are mostly dry. It's not too bad. This still has a few little air bulbs I gotta keep, you know, pressing down. But um, I didn't glue the head all the way down here so I can put some flowers here to block, you know, the original head of the original kit underneath there. I did, I almost forgot that little dragonfly. But um, I did put that down. But um, it's not too bad. It's starting to dry. I should have used the new one because this old one, it was super thick and hard to spread. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to just toss this and use this one. Because there's no like actual expiration date on these. I don't think. But I know this is like super duper old. It's like probably like 10 years old or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a super long time. Next, I think I am going to go through the pages and like, um, I know there's certain ones that, you know, ones that I dyed and I want to do like some stenciling on it. You know, I definitely need to add something in the background here, do some stenciling or something. Um, yeah, do something back here, you know. I need to put something here to so cover that up, you know. So I need to find some stuff to cover up and then do some stenciling and stuff on here. Maybe do some doodling of some snails. Because I need more snails in here. I'm just going to have this here to open up as a flap. Um, I need to cover up this part but still leave the border there. Um, all the ones with the paper clips, you know, ones I was going to sew. So I was going to sew these two together to make, you know, a pocket. So I got a lot to do still. And then, um, but I wanted to do all the, you know, distressing and stenciling and stamping, you know, everything to do with ink first. And then I will do some sewing. And then I will start adding, you know, like lace and stuff like that and more embellishments and whatnot. So do that first. Let's put that up. This one, um, this was from the um, Better Homes and Gardens garden book. And this was one of the, you know, dividers. And when I folded it in half, it was kind of cracking a little bit. So I took some Tim's Holtz Distressed um, tape on there. And I used it on both sides. And it's a lot better now. No problem bending it. And it's not going to fall in half. But I really like that. I love that butterfly. I think I was just going to leave this in the center with nothing in there so you can see the whole butterfly compared to just like half of it. I kind of like it that way. Oh, and I was going to make a pocket here. I'll just fold out. And have a pocket here too. I'm going to sew that on. I might do some like doodles on here on the line paper. I end up not dyeing the line paper. I just did like the printer paper I end up dyeing. Which I don't know. I might. I don't know. Maybe I'll just distress or I might add more green and yellow on the line paper. Since you know the printer printing paper I did the tea dye with or coffee dye. And I end up having to use my ink anyways. Um, the line paper. These ones. I might make more green and yellow. I might do that instead of having all of them that color. I think I'm going to do that. So I need to start getting my ink out and start doing that. So I will talk to you later. I hope you have a good day and hope it's not a rainy gloomy day like it is here. It looks like it's going to rain. I don't know. It looks kind of yucky outside. I hope your day's better than mine. My poor son, like uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday morning he woke up and he was... I swear he has sinus allergies. We don't know yet, but I swear he does. Because he had those terrible watery eyes and sneezing and runny nose. Like, no colors is coming out of his nose. It's just clear stuff. So I think it's just sinuses. And, you know, the weather's changing. And pollen's been picking up again. And I, my allergies have been bad, which has been a long time. Plus, being he's been in school now. And so he's outside a lot more, breathing that in. And so 
it's terrible. <laughs> I tried like kids Benadryl and it didn't do like anything. So I gave him some Tylenol this morning and he's like jumping all over the place. So looks like we're going to stick with Tylenol, but hopefully he gets better. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll keep you posted how far I'm going right now. I'm going to get the ink out and start working on that. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.